what can we expect at Delta Airlines? Uh, this question we just received, say, what will be different this time around? The last time we all remember the free popcorn, the cake, the hugs and kisses <laughs> from our supervisors. <laughs> Should we expect more of the same? I would uh, hope so. I love ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it, it's been very apparent that Delta's already um, doing things in the lounge. I heard they're giving free manicures and massages to the flight attendants. Um, I, I, I don't know, what have you guys heard? The same thing in Salt Lake, for example, we had, um, we've been getting peanut butter and jelly sandwiches almost on a regular basis, but even more than that, the, the sheer fact that they've come out with our uh, one for two, uh, um, the work rule changes, the sick leave increases, the things that we're starting to see come our way, I would hope that no one is fooled by that. Because you can see that they want to do this to keep the union out. And I, I feel so strongly that these things can be just taken away as quickly as they were given to us. And I think we all need to be very, very aware of that and not be taken in by this generosity that we see at this moment. The, the thing we want to remember about that is, to, to go on with that, is until we have a legal voice, until we have it in writing, it belongs to management. It's something that they give us, not something we get, and it's something that they can take away. Um, just like the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. If you're not there by three, they're gone. And uh, so it, 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 at the risk of making a bad joke, the, um, the, the things that, that we get under a contract are things that we negotiate for ourselves. And so, yes, Delta is going to come out with a very, probably vigorous anti-union campaign. And these, by the way, these changes are just proposed. They're, they're not That's there true. yet. Um, this, the, the Velvet Life is, is an answer to part of this. You're going to see a lot of activity on the side of Delta Airlines to try and convince you that you don't need a union, to try and convince you that they will take care of you. Think back. They will take care of you. <laughs> Think back. <laughs> Anything to add? Yeah, I could I could jump in on that. I guess the it is part of of, of their campaign, if you will. Uh, they don't do these things. It's a business. They do these things for business reasons, and in their business judgment, they know that a tray full of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches uh, can pay huge dividends if they, uh, by using things like that, uh, don't have to negotiate with a union over your wages and working conditions. That's where the real money is. And they know that, and so they're willing to do some of those kind of things to sort of stave off ever having to negotiate with the union. Um, I think the other thing to take away from some of the things that are going on is that management is recognizing uh, this sort of building uh, community of interest among the flight attendants. The seniority merger thing didn't just fall out of the sky. They came up with that as a way to address what they're hearing is one of the main motivating factors behind this organizing drive, that so many flight attendants are concerned about a merger and about what's going to happen to your seniority. Management felt compelled to respond to that. That's, that's recognition of, of just how important what you're doing is. You're, you're communicating with each other in ways that you've never done before. You're sharing um, your interests and your, your aspirations with each other, and you're building this organization that's going to let you address those important issues in a legally binding way. And management sees that, and they, they come up with uh, their response is, is it reflects what, uh, what you're doing. And so if, if they didn't think what you were doing was effective and if they didn't think the issues that you were raising were important uh, and if they didn't believe that this was leading to um, potentially organizing and having to negotiate, uh, you wouldn't see those things. So uh, kudos to all of you because you've made mm -hmm. those things happen. 